Welcome to Module 1 of Automated Testing with WebDriver I.O. In these next few videos, we're going to install WebDriver I.O. and Selenium, enabling us to write our first set of tests. By the end of the module, we'll have a test that runs the following actions. It goes to our site, it outputs the title of the page, it clicks the shop button, and it again outputs the page title and URL so we can make sure we're on the product page. Before writing our test, we need to install the tools used to run them. We use npm to install our dependencies. npm is a package manager for Node.js, allowing easier installation of utilities like WebDriver I.O. The two tools we need for our tests to run are WebDriver I.O. and the Selenium standalone module. You're probably familiar with WebDriver I.O., but for those unfamiliar with Selenium standalone, it's a handy utility for getting Selenium to run locally on our computer. To install both packages, open the command line to the project folder you set up in the Robot Parts Emporium site setup video, then run npm install save dev webdriver io selenium standalone. This will install both tools for us. Save dev tells npm to store the dependency information in our package json file in case we need to reinstall the tools later. Webdriver io is ready to go, but we still need to do a little bit of work setting up our local selenium server. This is where the Selenium Standalone tool comes in. When we ran the npm installation, Selenium Standalone added a command inside the node modules bin folder. We can run it by calling node modules bin Selenium Standalone from the command line. Since this is our first time setting things up, we need to download the Selenium server. We do this by sending node modules bin Selenium Standalone install to our command line. We won't need to run this again as it will save the files for later use. With the Selenium server downloaded, we'll start it up by running node modules bin Selenium standalone start. After a few seconds, Selenium will be up and running. You can confirm you have it working locally by going to the location provided at the end of the output in a browser. You won't be using this page though, so you don't need to keep it around. Now that WebDriver IO is downloaded and Selenium is running, we can start writing our test. We'll take a look at that in the next video.